Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking scandal investigation finds teen and friends not laughing now. They have betrayed her. Feinstein is in the doghouse. Democrats kept calling for an investigation on the accusations against Kavanaugh, and now they are going to get one. Just not the one they were hoping to have in this case. Cranky Senator Dianne Feinstein and her people are now facing a full investigation to discover who leaked Christine Blasey Ford's letter to the press. She wanted that letter to remain anonymous but left it in the hands of Senator Feinstein, so, surprise. It's another Feinstein scandal. Senator Tom Cotton has indicated that Feinstein's office will be investigated with the intention of finding out who exactly leaked the letter and under whose orders. Not too surprisingly, Feinstein, of course, acted as if she was in shock when she was confronted with the news of the letter being leaked. She said she had no idea how it could have happened when she was the only one with the letter during Ford's and Kavanaugh's testimonies before the judge last week. Just to reiterate, she was the only one with the letter, and yet she is shocked that it got leaked to the left-wing media and has no clue who could have done it? Oh my, Feinstein what a paradox! I'm willing to suggest that if Feinstein was the only one with access to this confidential letter then she is the only one who would know how it got leaked to the media despite the specific demand from Ford to keep it confidential. Well, both her and whatever peon she had dirty their hands to get the job done, if not herself. So many scandals whirling around us now. Not only is Feinstein facing investigation, but the pro bono lawyers that were recommended to Ford are supposedly in the same boat as well, just for a different reason. Word is after hearing Ford's testimony it appeared as if she had no idea that she had an option to stay in California, while the Senate Judiciary Committee traveled to her to get her testimony. According to the news, she is deathly afraid of flying, yet flies frequently, and would have most likely opted to stay in California if she had known it was an option. This was the time that Ford's questioning was delayed a few days from Monday to Thursday, and the speculation was that it was Ford who needed time to make sure she gets her story straight. However, allegedly it wasn't Ford who was stalling at all, but it was her lawyers. Word is that they are really close with Democrats and got Ford to fly to D.C. to stall Kavanaugh's confirmation. Cotton speaking about Ford said, as per Politico, they have betrayed her, Cotton said on CBS Face the Nation. She has been victimized by Democrats on a search-and-destroy mission for Brett Kavanaugh. He also said Democrats would be at fault if women become less likely to report sexual assaults now because they did not keep Ford's request confidential, as she had asked. Any impact that this entire episode has had, Cotton told John Dickerson, on women's willingness to come forward and report sexual assault, which I encourage them all to do immediately after it happens, is caused by the Democrats, is caused by Dianne Feinstein and Chuck Schumer not respecting her requests for confidentiality. The FBI investigation into Ford's sexual assault allegation against Kavanaugh is unlikely to bring any new evidence to light, Cotton said, adding that the Judiciary Committee had already conducted interviews and or received letters from people that Ford said attended the gathering at which the alleged assault occurred. We already know what everyone at the party has said, he said, adding that the investigation will likely make a few senators more comfortable about voting to confirm Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court. Senator Cotton makes a good point. The people who were asked questions and who submitted written letters under risk of penalty are unlikely to magically have any other information. What else will people say that they haven't already said under risk of being in legal trouble for telling lies? The FBI's job is to investigate. Brett Kavanaugh has faced a reported six background checks and there was nothing of any sort to suggest that he had anything but an extremely clean record. It's not a mistake that the letter written by Ford, a Democrat, made its way into the hands of a Democratic senator and then into the hands of a leftist-leaning publication. Make no mistake about that, it was all likely part of the plan. Democrats really have a special talent for chaos and madness. It's an absolute circus. They are claiming to be supportive of sexually abused women, and yet turn the other way when it is a Democrat being accused of anything. Would you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.